Hola, estudiantes. I'm going to explain this document worksheet, La Navidad en Latinoamérica y España, Español 2. Bien. Ok, so lee y saca apuntes con el color azul, as usual. You read, when you read, you take notes. That means writing down the words you don't know. And that would be in blue, the words you don't know. Uh, and it says, Encuentra las respuestas en el paquete Christmas in Spain and Latin America. That's find the answers in the packet Christmas in Spain and Latin America. It's this packet. So the answers are in that packet. Okay. But you have to figure out how to look them up and write them in Spanish. Okay. Rellena el espacio con el color rojo. So you're going to fill in the space with the color red. Okay. Now, when you see a star here, this asterisk, it says, La respuesta es en español en el paquete. The answer is actually in Spanish in the packet. You don't even have to look it up in your dictionary. It's already in Spanish. It's in italics, actually. Kind of like these. I made a little mini dictionario here for you for some tough words on this uh, document here, okay? So look over this first. Okay, so like I said, you're filling in these blanks here. Uh, by researching the packet, uh, Christmas in Spain and Latin America. But I'm going to show you an example uh, with this document, okay? Okay, so this first one doesn't have a star next to it. That means whatever the answer is, uh, you have to translate it. to look it up in your green dictionaries and write what it means in English. All right, read the whole sentence first. En Paraguay, en el 6 de enero, se celebra el banquete de la blank cuando los tres reyes magos traen regalos para los niños. So I've tried to help you a little bit by giving a little clue as to where to find the answer. Uh, so Paraguay, since it says that, so obviously you should then be focusing the answers probably under this Paraguay section, okay? So, um, all right, so I know Paraguay means Paraguay, so I don't have to write that down, but I'm going to get my... Uh, I'm going to get my uh, color ready here for taking notes, my blue. Um, okay, now Paraguay and, and El Seis de Enero, I know that's 6 of January, so I know that already. I already know those words, so I don't need to write those down. Se celebra, when you see se, that's just like saying one celebrates, kind of like they celebrate without saying celebran, like it is celebrated. El banquete, uh, you know what, I'm going to look that up in my dictionary, and I'm going to go like this then. And always rely on the first definition in the dictionary. And I'm going to write like this. Banquete equals feast. I'm going to put a comma. See if I got any more words to look up. All right. Cuando, I know it means when. Los tres, I know it means three. Reyes, reyes. I got to look that up. But look at This is plural. Okay. So ES was added to this. That means you have to look up rey. Okay. Okay. You look that up in your dictionaries. Uh, you write it down. And you see that the plural version means kings. Okay, and then magos, you gotta look that up too if you don't know what that means. So just because it's capitalized doesn't mean you have to look it up. Don't have to look it up. Magos, uh, you might find that that means magic, uh, uh, magi. Um, uh, so it is the three magi. Uh, Diana, gotta look that up too. Oh, wait, can't find that in the dictionary. That's a conjugated verb. You have to find the infinitive, write it like that, equals to bring. I don't know regalos either. So I got to look up regalo, okay? That means gift. So regalos means gifts. It's line, you can do that. All right, uh, and then for the, I know niños means kids, but if you don't know, got to look that up too. Uh, ni, oop, and don't say such niños equals kids. All right, so then read the whole sentence again. In Paraguay, on January 6th, it's celebrated, or they celebrate the feast of the what? When the three magi, the three kings, bring gifts for the children. Okay, so you look here. Um, Paraguay, okay, I'm going to read, 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 read. Well, oh, here, here's a clue. On January 6th, the feast, oh, feast, and that's the word I looked up, the feast of the epiphany. It's the three kings who bring gifts to the children. Oh, oh, so the answer is epiphany, right? So let's see. 
So I'm going to go ahead and write epiphany in here. No, you got to look it up in the dictionary how you say epiphany. Then the amount of lines, however many times you delete the line, that's how many letters there are in the word. So if it doesn't match up with the line, then you spelled it wrong, or it's the wrong word altogether, or maybe you just have to pluralize it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means there's eight letters to that word. I look up epiphany in the dictionary, um, and it says epiphania. And I'm going to count the letters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so that must be it. And that is it. That is the answer. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to put the answer in red. The answer's going red. Okay. Uh, this is basically the same thing, except uh, it has a star on it. You do the same. You follow the same steps. Um, but it's got a star, which means the word is actually in Spanish in the packet. Just a little, another little note here. This procesiones. Remember, you're not going to find that plural in the dictionary. You have to look up procesion. Um, Okay. All right. So another little clue here is that it says las. Okay. So that means the word should be feminine and plural. So I'm just going to just real quick one through, run through this one. Uh, the nine days of processions in Guatemala are called the what? When the children dress up as the Virgin Mary and Joseph um, looking for refuge or shelter. Okay. So then I go over to Guatemala. Okay. And for nine days before Christmas, posadas, or religious processions, and it's in italics. So that must tell you that that's probably the answer, because it says it's the nine days before Christmas, religious processions. So count it out. Count if that's that many letters. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. Two. Eight, four, five, six, seven. So that that must be it. Because it's posadas, it fits, and it matches las. Oh, wait though. I forgot to color it in red. My bad. My bad. Yeah. So that's it. Remember that there's supposed to be notes here in blue though. Alright? Yeah.